guys, it's Kelly, and we're going to talk a little more about freezer meals. Let's do a little recap. So you should have first decided that you're going to do freezer meals. You should have gathered um, close to 15 freezer meals or recipes, sat down with your family, and narrowed that down to 10, approximately 10. Uh, the reason I had you have your family get involved is so that when you do make the meals, you have buy-in from them. It's a bigger chance that they're all going to eat it, which is a bonus. So here's where we're at. We've got our meals, our recipes decided upon. It's time to do a grocery list. This can take some time. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do your grocery list. You can sit with pen and paper, which is the way I used to do it. Uh, you can use a spreadsheet, which is how I do it now because it's easier for me and I'm a little geeky. So what, however you decide to do it is great. I highly recommend that you grab your recipes um, when you're doing your grocery list. Break everything up into categories. So you're gonna wanna, you're gonna put all your meat together, your dairy, your vegetables. I split my pantry items up kind of by the aisles that I know that they're in at the grocery store that I frequent. So this is gonna help you when you go to the grocery store so that you can get in and out a lot quicker. You're gonna need a few ingredients, so it's good to, to make sure that you have everything organized kind of by the way the grocery store is that you use. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. Um, some tips that I have for you. Most recipes will say a cup of green pepper, chopped green pepper, or maybe it'll say three-fourths of a cup or, or one green pepper. So you're going to have, you know, the very variations in your recipes. Um, I've kind of broken down, that down for you in my blog post and given you some tips on how much an average size uh, green pepper ends up being when you chop it. And by average size, it's about the size of your fist. So that, that's gonna equal, of a green pepper, it equals about a cup once you've chopped it. So this is good to know so that when you're making your grocery list, if it says a cup of green pepper, you know you want one. And then just keep adding to that for each recipe. Uh, hopefully you picked recipes that use a lot of the same ingredients. So you're buying you know five or six green peppers, five or six onions, and you're only having to chop them once rather than having to chop a green pepper and a red pepper and an eggplant and so and so. Uh, your chopping is going to be a lot quicker if it's, it's a whole bunch of one thing. So uh, hopefully you did that when you were picking your recipes. If not, no big deal. Next time. So what you need to do now is do your grocery list and get that all prepared. And then next we're going to talk about setting up your plan. How to... Uh, get your plan set up so that when you do do your your prep day it goes smoothly and quicker so check back and we'll talk about how to set up your plan in the next video thanks for joining me